what happens if you do or do not assent. This is a video response to that video. Um, I found the video, listening to it, um, quite hypnotic, and it took me back to when I was really into uh, love and light kind of spirituality. And um, his voice, <clears throat> again, is very, I say again because similar to a video that uh, we as a group, Destiny as a group, looked at last week about Ascension. So again, it was a very um, sing-songy, um, melodic kind of speaking voice, and there's music in the background. Uh, again, a very soft melody, and I felt very kind of tired and relaxed, and there was very pretty pictures uh, going through the video, um, very colorful and <clears throat> soothing. So the music was soothing, the voice was soothing, lullabyish, and the images were soothing. And it's easy to get drawn into that and want that because it gives me a good feeling. It assures me that I really don't have to do shit. And I get heaven, it sounds like. It's very assuring that I can stay the same, remain the same, uh, and be rewarded with a heavenly existence. Uh, so that concerns me a lot, because there's a lot to do in this world. So if we all do nothing, well, nothing's going to change. Um, uh, he had mentioned that uh, the reason we're having the extension is because human beings were an experiment, and um, the experiment was successful. Interesting, since everything's falling apart, and it's such a mess here. Uh, that there was enough people that were able to raise their vibration, uh, enough souls, <clears throat> without having to know their origin. So, and he talks about the vibration and how it would feel when you ascend. It would be like this extreme buzzing in your head, or, or you could feel something in your body. Well, I know what he's talking about. Everyone can do that. It's not hard. Oh my god, it's pretty simple experience that, you know, practice some meditation, and, you know, it's energy. It's just energy. It's not difficult. It doesn't change anything. There's no awareness in that. No buzzing in your body. When your molecules are hitting each other or whatever it is. There's no awareness in that. There's no benevolence in that. There's no change in the world in that. Why would there be a reward? You know, there's no common sense in this video, it's nonsense. And it's dangerous from the perspective that it just it controls you and and the, the evil of it is just so hidden, so prettily all wrapped up. And the evil of it is that this chap is suggesting that you do nothing. Just some of us who are uh, further along the enlightened path are going to ascend into the heavens and the rest of you are going to stay here on earth uh, while all the shit comes down and you will suffer a lot and then but then when you die you know just going to go to this other planet and wake up and you're going to have I think he said for in both instances for the people who ascend and don't ascend you're going to have in your next existence, your memories, your body, although it would be lighter. You have your memories, your body, your personality, you have all that, but be very careful because for those of you who are sent, um, you're going to be in a place where your thoughts will manifest instantly. Well, how does this make any sense? And he says, so there will be God's gift to show you, blah, 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 blah. Okay, if that was the case, and the, peop the beings still had their thoughts, memories, emotions, how are they going to be able to handle that? Could you handle that? I couldn't handle that. 
I'd delete us all. I'd be too freaked out. Come on. Just some guides are going to come. Don't worry, he says. Don't worry. Oh, that's ridiculous. And with that kind of power, there would be corruption again. So listen, my main point being is, I do believe there's going to be changes, but not in the way this guy's saying. It's making it, it's ridiculous. It's like he's speaking to little children, and he thinks you're stupid. Or you're just that selfish. And you just want to ignore what's here. So, I'm suggesting we have to take responsibility. There are a lot of things that we can learn. Here. Oh, he also suggests that there won't be any money or banks in either of these places. So for the people who ascend, the people who don't ascend, and they die and they wake up on this other planet where they're kind of like taken by the hand and healed. Uh, there won't be banks, there won't be any money. Well, then why not do that here? What are you waiting for? Why would you wait? Why would you wait? People are suffering here. They're poor. They're hungry. They're cold. They're hungry. Millions of people, children, are dying of starvation. Don't give me some stupid sing song voice and tell me it's that's okay because I'm higher along, further along in some path. You know, then create it here. Create your heaven on earth that you're describing. It's got all these images. They come from him. They come from inside of him. It's his heaven he's describing. You have an imagination. What would your heaven be like? Why doesn't he create it here? So I'm suggesting we take responsibility here and not wait for anything. There is a solution. There is a safe place to learn about who and what you are and your thoughts. The place is destiny. We are suggesting the implementation of an equal money system in this world. So we can begin creating heaven on earth here and now, as is our responsibility, because we are the ones that make this mess. I don't care what you call it, an experiment, call it an experiment if you want. Success, oh my god. It almost couldn't be more, more of a failure than it is. You can investigate equal money for.